Hi, it's me again, and just a quick little one for you this time, because our good friend Nadine Dorries has had yet another pop at the BBC. She's really on one lately, isn't she? Maybe she should start her own YouTube channel, or she can come and appear on this one, if she likes. Well, let's have a look at this, and we'll have a chat about it, as always, shall we? Nadine Dorries, the BBC needs saving from itself. I would have worded it a bit different, personally. I would have had the BBC needs scrapping to save us all 13 quid a month that we don't need to pay. Anyway, let's read on. Ms Dorries, who froze the BBC licence fee in January, likened the broadcaster to a polar bear on a shrinking ice cap. There is a problem with groupthink within the BBC. I don't think those people think they are left or they are right. I think they just believe they are absolutely right about everything and they have a world view and a view of the UK, which is, I think, sometimes very wrong. Blimey, are you sure Nadine Dorries isn't my missus wearing a blonde wig? Did you read that? I think they just believe they're absolutely right about everything, and they have a world view and a view of the UK, which I think is sometimes very wrong. That's my missus. My Spanish missus tells me that every day. <laughs> but yeah, she's not wrong. She's not wrong, is she? I, mean, I think the problem with the BBC is there's so many employees, so many managers that... You know, and it's, it gets debated. Every idea they have has to go through a massive debate. And when you're doing that, nothing gets done, does it? Too many people talk about it, and then they've got to make it inclusive and do all of that and do all of this. And they end up not being able to talk about anything but the thing they think is right. And they will not be told otherwise. You know, and politically, they're all over the shop as well, aren't they? You're not going to take political bias one way or the other. And then it all balances out and then it ends up being no bias. And let's get rid of the BBC, shall we? Our responsibility is to save the BBC from itself because it is that polar bear on a shrinking ice cap. Yeah, that is a fair analogy, isn't it? That is sort of what the BBC seems like at the minute because they're taking in 3.2 billion quid a year from the general public. And the tide is turning an opinion against the BBC is turning and they're just there trying to hold on to that bit of money aren't they and as we've said loads of times on the channel the problem is what happens when the tide turns too much and in 2027 when they have to renegotiate this charter of theirs what is going to happen i'm hoping just to see nadine say that's it you're on your own now you can go commercial you can be a global streaming service do whatever you want but i'm seeing so many stories about it possibly becoming a mandatory tax it's really concerning me really concerning me. She said she thought the BBC's funding model would not exist into the future, regardless of her actions as secretary, because it will hit the buffers as more people refuse to pay the licence fee. Yeah, as I've said loads of times, that is the best way to affect change here. You know, if everybody just waits until 2027 to see what's going to happen, they're going to turn it into a tax or they're just going to renew the charter as is or something like that. The more people you can convince to cancel the license fee gives us the power in the movement, you know, and if so many people are against it, so many people are refusing to pay and cancel it, the government will see that, and, you know, that is the best form of this movement. You know, there's no better way to do it. It's just stop paying and convince as many people to not pay it as possible, because you don't need a TV license unless you watch anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. But you can still watch it. You like Coronation Street, you can still watch it. You just watch it on Catch Up on ITV Hub. You like Love Island, that's there as well. I don't know why you'd like that. I don't know why that came into my head either. But like the Channel 4, Channel 5 stuff, Channel 3, you can all watch. All the Sky stuff you can watch. Just do it on Now TV. Watch it on demand. There's, you know, unless you really watch a lot of BBC stuff, you don't need the TV licence anymore. And the best way to get this movement winning is to convince as many people as possible to cancel it. And I've got links below you can help persuade people and show them what they can and can't watch. And I'm trying to update those and make newer versions as well. So keep an eye on the links down, down below on the videos. And they're the best things to share about. Share them on your social media, email them to friends, all of that stuff. And we'll, we need to make the movement as big as possible if we're going to win, don't we? What do you think about this? Do you think Nadine is going to be the one to give us the change that we all want in 2027? I, I flip-flop about. On that, sometimes I think she's going to do it, and then sometimes I think, ah, she's just all mouth and no trousers. She probably won't even be in the job in six months anyway, so why back her? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.